hello students uh, in today's video we are going to see how to convert standard sum of product expression to standard product of sum so we will be given with the standard uh, sum of product expression and we will convert that into the standard product of sum form so uh, for converting this we need to follow certain steps first of all when we will be given with an expression that is in the sum of product form first we have to determine in this first step we have to determine the binary numbers that represents the product terms then in the second step we have to determine all the binary numbers not included in the evaluation in step 1 and then in the third step we have to write the equivalent sum terms for each binary numbers from step 2 and express in POS so uh, let's take an example and try to see how we can convert or how we can follow these steps so for example we are given here that convert the following standard um, convert the following sum of product expression to an equivalent product of sum expression so basically we are here given with the sum of product expression the sum of product expression is a and b and c complement or a complement b c or a complement b complement c so this is our sum of product expression we have to convert it into the product of sum the first step is that we have to first of all represent it in its binary equivalent so as you know in a sum of product form simple variables are represented by one and the complemented variables are represented by zero therefore here a will be represented by one b by one c complement by zero then or then again a complement will be represented by 0 b will be represented by 1 c as 1 then or a complement will be represented by 0 b complement again as 0 and c as 1 now if you see here the domain of this expression is 3 that means this expression is defined on three variables Therefore, the combination of the binary equivalents will be 2 raised to the power 3. That is equivalent to 8. But if you will see here, we are taking only 3 combinations. So, rest of the 5 combinations we have to consider in the POS. That means these 3, that means the POS must contain the other 5 combinations which are that means other than these those will be 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 and 1 these are the rest of the five combinations which are not included in these three so now we have to write the POS equivalent of these the product of sum expression for these will be as we know in the product of sum form a simple variable is represented as 0 and the complement variable is represented as 1 therefore this 0 0 0 will be represented as in the POS form as A or B or C then again this 0 1 0 will be represented as A or 1 as B complement, 0 as C. Then again, 1 0 0 as A complement or B or C. Then again, 1 0 1 as A complement or B or C complement. Then again, 1 1 1 as A complement or B complement or C complement. So these are the simple steps in which through which we can convert the SOP expression into the POS expression so for converting POS into SOP we can follow the same steps we have to follow the same steps in that also 
so this is how we can convert the pos into the sop and similarly you can convert sop into the pos form so thank you for watching today's video